So, um, welcome to the Portable Off-Grid Sustainable Habitat, um, POSH is the acronym, and uh, this is designed for disaster relief in both developed and developing countries. Um, other things exist that are uh, portable and other things that are exist that are sustainable, but nothing exists that's both sustainable and portable. So what we designed here is a totally off-grid habitat, um, solar powered entirely, has water filtration and um, some air conditioning uh, abilities for tropical and subtropical climates. And what's great about this is it all folds down, fits into two small boxes that can fit in the back of a standard pickup truck. So um, if you need to take it to remote locations or take many of them to remote locations, you can. Uh, they also, the boxes are designed to fit into shipping containers. So you can fit uh, six of these uh, uh, habitats into one shipping, uh, 20 foot standard shipping container. So if you'd like, we'll take a look inside. So this is our living space. Um, <clears throat> the solar panels feed uh, electricity to a combiner box, which then comes into this charging, uh, charging station and charge controller. So we have a battery bank outside. You know, during natural disasters, um, you may not have grid tile electricity. And so this habitat will be able to kind of like fill the void and by, by being able to produce its own power. And so, so users can be able to use appliances and, and whatnot to kind of make, make themselves seem like they're at home, I guess yeah. you could say. This is a particularly nice charge controller because if you were in a situation where you had another source of uh, electricity, for instance a generator, um, if you had many cloudy days in a row or something like that, you could run uh, the generator and feed it back through this to charge your batteries and also run your systems. So this provides the main power for the house. So if it rains for three days, maybe it's not going to be able to run like all the other energy systems, I mean all the other electronic appliances. but. We are expecting it to run like off the grid with, without sunlight like about two days. The area I'm actually standing in right here, so if I made a box here, that would make um, one of the two boxes. So all of the walls and solar panels and other components, batteries and things like that fit into a box that's this size. So that's one of the two shipping boxes. That's what we call the materials box. The second box um, is the wet core box which is um, intact over here. So um, this wall, this uh, becomes a solid wall. These things, these filtration devices come off and then this box just ships as one container that you um, pop in place. We worked on ways that those walls could collapse, um, take apart. We ended up with this kind of frame and panel design that you can see behind me with aluminum members supporting kind of plywood panels and it was really the most compact and strongest that we could make it. Uh, two people can put this together. So you build it at basically this level, um, setting all the solar panels on this level, and then we use these um, ratcheting cranks uh, to um, lift the roof, and the rest of the support structure comes out from inside the walls or inside the existing boxes. So here we have um, a shower and toilet, um, we can uh, collect uh, unimproved water and we filter it through uh, several stages of, of sediment filters. I think it, it works out to be three weeks worth of water in case like you can't get water or it doesn't rain or if something happens you still have at least three weeks of water. And um, we store our water up at the top to give some pressure. We also have a pump in there, a small pump to uh, uh, supply a little additional pressure and uh, so you can shower and get water, drinking water. I don't think a lot of people expected us to be able to finish the whole house by the end of the year. And so I think our team is extremely proud for being able to finish the house and get it operational. I think it's turned out great. Um, it, was, it was in doubt a little bit at the beginning whether we were going to be able to achieve something as big as the scope of this project over a year. And the fact that we have a full working prototype right here, I think it's testament to how hard we've worked and how well we've worked as a team. So I'm really impressed by what we've accomplished. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs>